Today in the bunker, we're going to build some dome tents suitable for the wasteland. For the basis of this build, I'm going to use one of these foam balls. Uh, I just got this at the craft store and it's the 3.8 inch, 9.6 centimeter. You could use other sizes, um, just whatever scales well to whatever miniatures you're using. I got the smooth foam kind, which is this white foam. Uh, they also had some that was more of an open cell foam and was a little cheaper. This was $2.99 when I went to get it, uh, but it makes two. You can cut them in half and knock stuff down. Uh, so it's not too bad. I mean, that's fairly cheap. And heck, you may have some of these from another craft left over or any kind of dome shaped piece you have, you know, should work fine because we're going to cover it with some canvas and uh, that'll be fantastic make the covering I just went and bought some generic facial tissue at the grocery store it doesn't have any kind of print on it uh, I was originally going to try to use like uh, baby wipes or handy wipes but they all had some kind of imprint on them I couldn't find any that were just plain so we'll go with this this is a little more difficult to work with but not impossible um, the the handy wipes are better if you have some plain ones those work best because they have they're a lot more substantial these are kind of flimsy to do is make these kind of wedge shaped pieces a little thinner than this that will lie down on this dome and we'll kind of stretch them out but we'll, we'll cut it a little more narrow and then we'll just do that as many times as is needed to get that and because they're for the post apocalypse they don't have to be super neat you could even make it where it was patched or whatever probably the the hardest part of working with the tissue is trying to cut it neatly. This one's actually kind of cooperating. So just take your time, use a good sharp pair of scissors and uh, you can cut out the shapes that you need. I'm just using some PVA, in this case just some Eileen's Tacky Glue, but whatever kind of PVA you have should be fine. Make sure it'll actually come out of the bottle and then just apply sort of a wedge shape on here and we'll smear that around and make a nice even coat and then put that on and we'll take our wedge not wedge Antilles, just wedge, and completely hose that up. Don't try to put two on at a time. That doesn't work. I was trying to take a shortcut. It doesn't work. And just lay that on there and sort of smooth it out as best you can. And just do that all the way around. One thing to note with this tissue paper, at least the stuff I got, is it cuts much easier if it's two layers together, but it glues on much easier a single layer at a time. To make the poles for the tent, I'm just going to use this steel wire I have, but almost any kind of wire you have will work. As long as you can bend it to that shape, um, should be fine, and you know, as long as the gauge looks pretty close. This is 16 gauge, but you could go a little bit thinner and it would be, it would be no problem. Generally those poles are fairly thin. Once you get that wire bent to shape, uh, you can cinch it down on there. I just laid a bead of PVA on there, and once that dries, that should hold it in place until we uh, go to the next couple of steps. I'm going to put another one across here, and then we're going to add some little canvas pieces that will hold it on there, and that will help firm that whole thing up. All right, and for the little canvas pieces that hold the uprights on, I just laid down a bead of glue on either side, cut a small piece and just add that and smooth that out until it's the way you want it. The door, I just took a piece of construction paper. We're going to fold that in half and we'll kind of eyeball, just sort of maybe in camera, cut ourselves that sort of shape so that when that is opened we'll have a satisfactory door. I did that on the other one. I used some cardboard and covered it with the tissue paper, but it's a little thick. So I'm hoping maybe this one 
going to cut this in half so the pieces lay flatter. We're going to glue that on there and that should work pretty well. Just lay those pieces on there as best you can. They should lay down fairly well. I'll also point out I went a little out of order on these. Uh, it's probably best to let that base coat dry and then prime that first then add your poles if you want them to be that metal color otherwise you can just prime them black and paint them and that's fine all right so once all of the pva has set up all the tissues dried our door is dried on there i went ahead and primed this just with a rattle can black and then did some zenithal gray you could do white as well highlight completely optional but i just think it'll help a little bit to uh, kind of accentuate the worn nature of this and to paint these i'm just using just various colors of craft paint nothing special and just kind of apply that we'll add some washes and whatnot to kind of dirty it up a little bit but just kind of do that to taste whatever bright camping looking colors you have and if that happens we'll just glue that back down Right, and here they are with a little bit of craft paint, various colors, and some washes applied just to accentuate where the uh, poles are. And it didn't come out too bad. Um, it doesn't take very long. The longest part of the whole thing is just waiting for the various things like the glue to dry. Um, I just brush painted it with craft paint. It went pretty quick and, and dries relatively fast. Um, the only other thing you may want to do is put some varnish on here. It's a little bit shiny and it would probably help toughen this up a little bit so once that dries fully and it really cures well i'll probably go ahead and put uh, some varnish on that as well just as a protective coating but otherwise that's pretty much it they're they're very straightforward build and uh, i think they'll look pretty good out in the wasteland so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys have a fantastic day